Hello and welcome to the Big Bang. Rotations can both happen about a fixed point or a fixed axis. Let's examine both cases. In this sketch, we have a point P which could be a point in a rigid body. P is rotating about O at the origin. P will have a velocity equal to dr dt or r dot. As you may recall, we can rewrite that as omega cross r. P will also have an acceleration which equals the angular acceleration cross the position vector plus the angular velocity cross the angular velocity cross the position. Note that the angular acceleration will be the angular velocity dot. This angular acceleration alpha can be thought of as the velocity of the tip of the angular velocity vector omega. Now, let's explore a case in which the rotation happens about a fixed axis. We have a point P rotating on the disk path shown. Its position vector r, velocity vector v, and angular velocity vector omega are drawn. We know how to find the magnitude of the angular velocity omega, which is theta dot. To find the magnitude of the angular acceleration, we can take the derivative of the angular velocity. Multiplying that by d theta over d theta, we can find the angular acceleration from the angular velocity times d omega over d theta. From here, we have a uniform rotation, where the acceleration is zero. The kinematics equation is quite straightforward. You may remember this from your very first physics class. Theta equals theta naught plus omega times the time t. For the uniformly accelerated rotation, where the acceleration is constant, we can also use some equations that look quite familiar from physics. We have them boxed in orange to the right. Other equations that can also be used are also written down here, but in gray. Okay, that's all for now, and I will see you next time.